close till I get up Time is barely on our side Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do another tutorial. So yeah, if you guys are new here, my name is Gianna Fiorenz and welcome. Welcome to my channel because I feel like I haven't said that in a while. Like I feel like I haven't introduced myself in a while. So my name is Gianna. Welcome to my channel. Get excited. We're going to be doing tutorials here and other things. Anything that you guys suggest I actually really like to hear. Today we're gonna to be playing with the Tartist Pro Remix Palette. I have not played with the Tarte Palette in a minute, so I really, really wanted to play with this new one. I can't open it, hold on. Okay, and just look how gorgeous these colors are. Super, super fun, very funky, very different from what Tarte usually goes for. So I'm really, really interested to see how these guys play out. There's plastic on here. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to play with this today. So let's get the video started. So I kind of wanted to play with some new products that I haven't tried out today. So that is what I'm going to be basically doing. I'll be using like some other products that I like love, of course. I'm gonna try to use as many products new. And what? I'm gonna try to use as many new products as possible. My eyes are super dry right now. I already moisturized. I'm actually just going to use an eye treatment because my eyes are really, really dry right now. So I'm using the Tarte Maracuja C Brighter Eye Treatment. So let's put that on really quick. Okay, so I'm just going to put it underneath and on top here. This just kind of helps to like calm the eye down because I was tweezing before. And it kind of just brightens it up, moisturizes it. God knows I need it right now because it is so cold in New York and everything is dry. Lips are dry too. So I'm actually going to moisturize my lips. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Lip Oil. I love this stuff. So just so the lips look nice and moisturized. We're gonna start with the brows and I'm gonna use a new a new-ish product today. This is from Benefit. Their Brow Contour Pro Pencil. It has a lighter and a darker brow pencil in it, and then it also has highlighters and definers. So I'm excited to use this. I've had this in my drawer for a while, and I just never really got to play with it yet. So today, why not play with it? So I'm going to start with a darker shade. And if you remember, if you were like a kid of the 90s, or I don't know if they had, I'm sure they had them in the 80s, it's like that pen that switches colors. Such a cool design. Freaking love that, brilliant. And you just twist it up to kind of get some color out. So I'm gonna start with this. I'm using brown medium. And I'm just going to zoom you guys in, obviously. And I'm just going to fill this in. Starting with the back. There is no spoolie on that. I mean, there, how many things can you fit in there? So I'm just going to grab a spoolie really quick, just so I can blend it as I go. I'm just gonna push this up a little bit. I like my brow pencil to really peek out. It goes on really, really soft. It's almost like a crayon. It feels like a crayon, like the way it goes on, if that makes sense. And just, I'm using the deeper shade to kind of fill in any areas that are sparse. And as I hit the front, I'm going to use the lighter shade. And I'm just gonna define the bottom of the face and just kind of comb it up. And it looks really nice and natural looks really nice and natural, I like it. Yes, I like that. That like blends it in really, really nice. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other brow. You can make hair strokes. It's really, really soft the way it goes on. I feel like you should have a light hand because it does come out pretty pigmented. But I will say that it blends really, really nice. So if you do make a mistake, I'm sure it's very, very easy to fix. I also have not played with the Tarte Remix palette yet, so that's basically also a first impression. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the definer now and clean this up. Ooh, you can see that. 
that's pretty cool it cleans it up really easily I like how tiny it is so you can really like be specific in where you put it Ooh, I guess I pushed too hard <laughs> but I do really like that I'm just gonna take this Kylie angled brush and blend this down and this is a good shade it matches my eye area pretty well not too dark and not too light cleans it up really nice I am happy do the same thing to the other brow okay and then I'm going to just take that brush again and just kind of brush down I'm sure you could blend it with your finger I just want to be a little bit more neat with it I'm gonna be using the 24 hour brow center by benefit as well I'm going to push those hairs up Give it a little texture. Really, I am really pale, but like on the camera, I look like super duper pale, which is fun. So now for primer, I'm going to be using the P. Louise base. I love this stuff. I'm going to be using a fluffy brush for this. I'm going to be using this Morphe MB25, it's like a blending brush. And I'm just going to put some on my hand and I'm going to start to prime my lid. I'm just blend this out. I also like to blend it out my finger so it kind of takes away a little bit of excess product that doesn't need to be there. I do like to bring it out towards the temples so it is really really primed everywhere I really need it to be especially if I'm extending it which I'm not sure what exactly I'm doing it so I just do it just in case. Getting into it, the TARDIS Pro Remix Palette, yay! We're going to start off with Wall Art, which is this really taupey color first, and that's going to be our transition. So I'm going to take an E40 from Sigma, I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit, and I'm just going to blend that in the crease. This is a pretty good neutral to have. I wish they did have a warmer one, but this one will do because it is basically neutral. It's a little cooler. But I would say it's mostly neutral and it blends out really nice. Ooh, I just honestly like that color by itself. Right? Isn't that pretty? It's the same thing on the other side. Just blending that in windshield wiper motions. Building it up slightly. I'm not going too far up. It is a little patchy in the middle. I don't know if it's me it is just a tiny tiny bit patchy right there in the center but we are going to continue to move on and hopefully everything else blends out really nice i don't like the way that's sticking there though but we're gonna continue so i put a little more primer going to um, go over it again just to kind of see what's going on here maybe it'll blend a little better Okay, that's better. Okay, so I fixed the primer, I added a little bit more primer, and it's sticking better on that eye, so I'm just going to blend this eye out as well, just add a little more product there. I'm going to go in with Color Explosion, this emerald bright green here, and I'm going to go towards the end of the eye with that color. I'm using an E58, I'm using a dry first just to see. Oh girl! That is gorgeous. Wow. That is so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in the center mostly. Kind of stopping right at the V. This is really pretty though. And I didn't even wet it, which is a really awesome, awesome sign. I mean, I always love Tarte's Metallics. Tarte's Metallics, especially in these Pro palettes, are always so gorgeous. Oh my god. The color is so stunning, I can't handle it. I want to do like a cut crease, but without having to really cut anything, if that makes sense. <laughs> I want it to be a little softer. So I'm going to make this the main color though. And then I'm going to take a MAC 221. And I'm going to go in with ink, which is this black. And we're going to start to push that on the outer V towards the inner lid. And that is freaking pigmented. I just did two dabs. Oh yes, that is 
Oh yes, that's blending nice. That is really nice and I like the way it's blending and it's kind of taking the green and I really like the way that's looking. I'm just gonna go in with the E40 I was using and just kind of blend things out. But I love, love the way that that black is taking that green. I didn't even know if I wanted that, but now I do. I'm totally here for it. Oh, oh, that is so pretty. Do you see how like it caught? Oh my God, I'm obsessing right now. I love the way it's taking that green. Oh my God, guys. I'm so excited now. I'm so excited. So I'm going to just bring that up slightly and blend it out as I go with the E40. But that is just so gorgeous. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I almost used the end of the brush. I got really excited. And I'm just swirling it up to the crease. It was funny, I was actually gonna use um, one of their choco colors. I'm actually glad I used the matte. And then it's grabbing this green and looking like so pretty. But again, it's doing the same thing, and I freaking love the way that's looking. So pretty, and it's going to look even prettier when I put the shade that I want to put on the outside. I love the way that's looking. And don't worry, I will clean it up. It's looking a little messy, but don't worry. I just took a wet Q-tip and I just kind of cut these lines or like kind of cleaned it up here and just kind of like went from the outer corner up to the tail of my brow and just kind of cleaned that up so it's more cut eye like. Now we're ready for the inner corner color and I'm going to take a MAC 239 and I'm gonna go in with Flow and Splatter, these two shades right here and I'm not gonna wet them and go in the inner corner. Okay, I think I'm going to end up wetting them just because I want that. Ooh, I don't even know. Maybe I don't need to. That is really gorgeous without wetting. I'm just going to take that E58 that I use for the green and just kind of blend that. Uh, that looks really, really pretty. I've been loving gel liners lately. I don't know why or what brought me back to them. I'm going to be using the Sigma Wicked Liner. This is like an OG. I'm going to use the Etch-A-Sketch Bamboo Liner Brush, but I'm not going to use this beside, obviously, because it's super, super frayed. <laughs> and we're just going to line. I also like to mix it on my hand just to get extra product off. And to also warm up the product, that actually helps too. Do the same thing on the other side. This side always comes out better, I think. does always comes out better more smooth I don't know why it just does so I'm not going to use any new mascara because I've been loving it. well it is technically new but I'm not going to use a new mascara just because I really really like this one this is the NARS Climax mascara And it just really, really makes the lashes nice and long and pretty. I think I just got it on my contact, but it's okay. I'm all good. Okay, so for lashes, today I'm going to be using Gigi Bell Lashes in Gianna. I've used these a couple times already, so I am going to just clean them really quick. I don't want to do anything crazy for my lashes because I really like the shadow and I really want it to stand out. Now to put these guys on, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty glue, or what I have left of it, because I need to get some more. I'm just going to put it on a surface and let it dry just a little bit. I do have a tutorial on this, I can do an updated one if you guys want. And I'm just going to pop these on.
So you can still see the shadow, but it gives you a nice little, you know, look. Now we can start the face. So the new primer I'm trying out today is by Milk Makeup. It is their blurring stick. I've never used it before, so I'm excited. Oh my god, it almost looks like fake. That's how like shiny it is, right? Looks like plastic. I'm just gonna rub this all over my face. I'm probably going to rub it in my hand as well. Actually, I don't really know if you need to. But I am liking the way it's blurring out all my pores. That looks good. I kind of like the way it smells too. It smells... It's got like a... Lemony smell in it. If I'm not... Am I crazy? kind of smells like lemons. <laughs> it might be crazy. I do you like that it made my... My... Freaking pores to disappear over here. That was nice. Okay, milk. I'm gonna use Too Faced Born this way. I haven't used it in a minute, so why not use it today? I haven't used this in about, um, I would say three years on the regular? Four years? I don't know. I used to use this like crazy. I'm in shade sand. I used to use this like a psycho. So I'm just gonna use a Morphe G6 to apply this. But I used to love this foundation, so um, Too Faced gifted it to me. So I was like, let me get back into this jam. Because I used to love this jam so much. I always love falling back in love with the product and seeing why I really enjoyed it. And I remember why I really enjoyed this foundation, because it is such a great coverage. It makes your skin look seamless and smooth. And I actually used to wear this all the time when I worked at MAC. And people would be like, hey, what are you wearing? And I'm like, oh, because you had to say like what you were wearing at the, uh... I couldn't really wear MAC foundations um, too much because I was allergic to a lot of them. Only their foundations, not their concealers, which was very strange. I don't know what was in the foundation that wasn't in the concealer, but... But I used to wear this and people would be like, oh my god, what foundation you have on? I would always used to say Studio Fix because Studio Fix did the same kind of really flawless kind of look. Speaking of MAC, I actually wanted to try out their Studio Fix 24 hour concealers. I've heard really good things about it, so I'm excited to put these on. I'm going to be using shades NW28 and NC30. So we're going to put on NW28 first. Cover. Oh, I remember that smell. Mmm, brings me back. Brings me back. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of cover this area. And then I'm going to use NC20 to brighten the corners here. Down the nose. A little up here. A little on the chin. I'm going to just clean my blender and I'll be right back. So, remember me saying I was allergic? I am slightly allergic to this. I feel like I am slightly sensitive to this. I feel it tingling a little bit underneath the eye. But I wanted to test it out. As performance, it looks beautiful. Don't worry guys, I will not keep it on for too long. If it was like super, super burning, I would be taking it off right now but it's not too alarming. I think, again, just my skin is really sensitive to MAC. MAC's face products. To be so careful with so much makeup, like so much drugstore. I'm so allergic to it. And I know you guys always ask me like, hey, why don't you use drugstore? And I'm always just like, I want to. See, like this powder is good. The powder didn't break me out. Patrick's powder, it didn't break me out. So I'm just going to pop on Patrick's powder. But it does, it makes me sad that I'm like sensitive to so many face products. Eye products, I'm only really sensitive to liners, but you know, I can't really use a lot of drugstore. It's disappointing. Tingly sensation is still slightly there, but it's not that terrible. I feel like some of you guys are gonna be like, what are you doing? You're gonna ruin your face. Or you guys are gonna like freak out in some way. Don't worry, 
I'm okay. Everything will be okay. So to bronze the face up, I'm actually going to use the TARDIS Pro Glow and blush palette. Yeah. Okay, so this is Solo. I'm going to use that on my cheeks for bronzer. I'm not really gonna contour too hard today, so. And I'm going to use the KKW Beauty bronzing or contour brush. Oh, that's a pretty color. And it's not like crazy shimmery, which I really, really like, cause there is a lot of shimmer in that, but it's not like glitter, if that makes sense. It's a nice shimmer, it's a nice glow, but I'm not like, ooh, this is way too shimmery. So that looks really, really pretty. I used to love their other one too. Um, I still, I haven't used it in a while, but I used to be obsessed with the original TARDIS Pro Glow. And I like that they added a little blush one. I really love this concealer though. This concealer powder combo, the way the concealer looks is so, so flawless. I really, really like it. Okay, so I'm going to use an F10 and I'm gonna use the shade Electric, this shade right here. And it's got some gold flecks in it. I'm just gonna tap that off. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh, very pink. I'm going to kind of uh, beauty blender my face a little bit. Just so it's not crazy. Now for highlights, I was going to use the... I'm going to actually just swatch it for you. The shade Hi-Fi. This shade right here. Really, really, really pretty. So just wanted to swatch it for you guys and show you. I'm going to put it on with a Morphe M501. Because, I mean, it is gorgeous. So, I was going to mix, but I don't want to keep putting too much highlight on my face. So, I'm just going to leave it at that. It's like a yellow gold. You guys can see. Gorgeous. It's really, really, really pretty. I'm actually going to put a little bit of highlights the same high phyla highlight on the brow bone here and here yeah i'm gonna put a little in the inner corner too just to kind of really bring that gold in there i like to curl my lashes i don't know if anybody else does that but i like to because it really just combines them it actually makes the wear a lot more comfortable so that's what I like to do now we're gonna do the under eye smoke I'm gonna take beat drop beat drop which is this charcoaly black glitter color I'm gonna use a tiny little brush this is from coastal Scents. doesn't have a number on it I've had this for so long this is super super pigmented so just like be light with this color I'm just gonna smoke that underneath. It's really, really pretty. I'm gonna add mascara on the lower lashes. I'm gonna try to do this on camera for a second and then I'm gonna go off camera. Okay, so I'm just going to take a brush and take this brush here, this Morphe Drucklin Hill J06 and just kind of wipe any extra powder and hairs. I have to say I really, really love the way the concealer is looking. It's super flawless for lippies. KW Beauty liner in Nude One. I forgot how much I love this liner. Her and Kylie's liners are like crazy similar and the creaminess and i'm gonna use this nars santo domingo full vinyl lip lacquer it's really really pretty really pretty pink blue has a little bit of a blue tone like i love it like this 
Like that's pretty gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Oh my God, I'm actually like obsessed. So this is a gloss. I thought it was gonna be a, a velvet matte lip, but it's not. I'm not mad at it. But I wanna use the Morphe Charm Lip Topper. It's just super, super gorgeous and like very holiday-y. So I'm gonna put that on in the center. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is stunning. I totally ruined the lip applicator, but I mean, well, that's stunning, guys. I love, love, love the way that looks. So pretty. Oh my god. It's so gorgeous. Not at all sticky in any way or gritty. Really, really buttery smooth and just beautiful. And I love the way this look came out. Woo! So we're going to set the face with some Max Rose Fix Plus. I had the lavender one. No. Did I? No, I didn't have the lavender one. I had my regular one. I'm pretty sure my sister stole it. It was on this desk for like ever and now it's gone. So... I'm just gonna cry myself and fix plus rose because I do love this one. I do believe they're not temporary anymore, right? I do believe that they are because they used to be temporary when I worked there. I remember they came out and it was like, whoa, flavored. It was like flavored fix pluses and everyone was like going crazy. So that's the video, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Just final thoughts about the Remix palette because I really wanted to, you know, talk about it. I do really, really love the palette. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's totally out of Tarte's comfort zone, which is amazing. I love the colors. I just freaking love how pigmented they are. They're freaking gorgeous. Um, I actually didn't do any swatches. I don't really like the swatch craziness you know there's a lot of people who like crazy base their stuff on swatches but here are some swatches for you I mean their metallics are absolutely insane they've always been really insane I'm more about performance than swatches but you know I want to give the swatch people what they want so yeah I really really do love this palette I think it's gorgeous I love that Tarte again stepped out of their comfort zone and just really went for it the wall art was a little bit weird to work with, but it made I made it work. Black, the bl and black is hard to blend. That black blends out so gorgeously. And the green is just bam, like I freaking love it. Really applaud Tarte on it. It's really, really gorgeous, really fun and different. And yeah, the 24 hour Studio Fix Concealer is fucking bomb. I don't feel any tingliness anymore, so I should be a good. I think my eyes are just, my eyes have just been really sensitive anyways these past couple of days, so with makeup wipes, with everything, they've been a little sensitive. I'm actually not too nervous about the tingliness with this concealer, so I don't feel anything now, and everything is looking really good. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to thumbs it up. If you are not subscribed, what are you doing? Please subscribe to my channel so you know when I have videos up. Next to the subscribe button below is a bell. Hit it so you guys can get my post notifications so you know right when videos go live for me. Comment below what you guys want to see next, what palettes you want me to use, what you want me to, you know, do reviews slash first impressions of. I'm trying to get into more of not just tutorials, but first impressions, a little bit more reviews. I really do kind of review every product in my video as I'm using it. I tell you guys my thoughts. You know, I do kind of like mix that in there, but I never say that it's actually a review. So I feel like this video, as you can see at the top, whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be like a first impressions review deal kind of thing. I'm going to talk about them, but I want to give you guys a little bit more depth of my feelings for different products. So... Yeah, so let me know what you guys want to see below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.